uh, my uh, the awareness aspects, mindful awareness aspects, looking into the nature. So then you just seeing your kind of like in you uh, peacefully abiding, present. So no any thoughts, but you can feel into that state, but we had to stay at that level because sometimes like subtle level, this grasping conceptual thoughts and dual state arise very easily. So it's uh, using this practice meditation teaching, uh, we realize our mind seeing, but hard to into that nature. So that's why um, we have to really need to look into your nature. So we have to use awareness, mindful, look into our natural mind. There's lots of information to share on this. this. However, had actually the area of course, I like have to share lots is all the Mahamudra is in explaining there, the teaching. Uh, I will be briefly explain due to time constraints, constraints. It is very difficult to understand our mind is a Buddha mind. That is the reason we follow the wrong direction. Uh, and create the cause of suffering. So even we want to create the causes of happiness, some just due to our karma and the conditions, uh, then naturally, like even we wanting, but no choice, creating the causes of suffering. Uh, so that's the reason we don't understand this, our mind is a Buddha's mind. So Buddha mind means all the free from conceptual thoughts. No draw, no draw last is Buddha's mind. Uh, then the harder to see that reason we follow the wrong direction is uh, they always has like dualistic thoughts and conceptual thoughts and then thoughts and emotion arise. But even we release the, the gross level thoughts, emotions, but still subtle level emotions and the subtle level, this conceptual thoughts is there. So that's why it's really hard to into the, this natural states. And uh, so even we get there is, but just if the good practitioner are thinking stay longer, mostly beginners, uh, hard to in there, but even get is like very short term and lose again because it arises this, still this subtle level, dualistic thoughts comes. If into the really in the nature that term, you can feel that energy or like connections, uh, it's blessings you feel, but it's hard to in there, stay. So that means like still we have to just meditate shamatha and uh, people when meditate uh, actually Mahamudra, but some reasons like most people just go up to last level shamatha still. So we have uh, like shamatha has three different uh, levels. First one, we focus with the object, mind, resp mind resting with the object. So second one is uh, uh, mind resting with the breath, focus with the breath. Third one is we don't use any object. Just mind is be there, be there presently, but not really seeing the nature. Uh, so that is like many people has that, you know, the thing is Mahamudra, but only just get that level. Uh, so that's why we have to create more accumulation merit. Uh, Telopa told Naropa this, uh, the subtle level of wisdom is due to the causes, causes or due to is like to accumulation merit. 
<clears throat> so the create the true accumulation humility, then we have so many different kinds of methods. So practice a deity using generation stages <clears throat> and also like just daily life, daily, daily practicing create accumulation merit. Usually we just using the, our more important is like mindful and awareness. These two guided our mind, nature. So I mean, they're like a guide for us. So that's where then maybe one day we can realize the true nature. But maybe already you have true nature understanding. So even you didn't have understand nor yet realize, you can realize one day sooner or later because we have this uh, special teachings. And uh, anyway, this teaching has uh, lots of blessings. So it's uh, come from Jigdin Songo. We already told this uh, teaching, this supplication Tara is uh, not just someone, you know, ordinary people created and come from realize the teachers like realization song means uh, more powerful blessing there. So enlightening all this uh, uh, aspiration the power is that is in there. So that uh, helps us realize our nature mind because of this uh, blessing, the teacher's blessing and uh, Dharma blessing, then we have to put our, our effort. So that three have come together, then all the condition comes, realizer is, I mean, I mean that just the we understand the true nature is possible or the condition comes so that's condition we have to create that's a we have a uh, so ability or we have that connections we can create that condition okay so then uh, we are stuck in samsara when we chant this. Uh, it is difficult to understand our minds as Buddha's mind. So we have to look to sister, same going mind. Our mind is itself present and uh, free from dualistic conceptual thoughts. At the time, thoughts did not exist in our mind. So when she looked to our own minds that time, so your own mind is self, person, it's a person mind is free from dualistic conceptual thoughts. At that time, thoughts did not exist in our mind. Thoughts not exist in the mind. Uh, if you are into the person nature. Uh, without the thoughts, we also really release emotions. If we don't have thoughts, then also we can release our emotion too. Thoughts bring the emotions. When your mind becomes present and is peaceful, and the mind does not create any cause of samsara, See, if our mind is uh, present, you know, like using the, we, our mind for uh, awareness, long as we have that uh, awareness mind for, the mind is present and peacefully stay. So that time the mind is not created any causes of suffering. It's, uh, causes of samsara is stopped there. So then we think about, you know, usually we, all the time, we create this uh, samsara causes, causes of, uh, you know, create causes of suffering, samsara, because the mind is follow the dualistic thoughts, dualistic conceptual thoughts. So dualistic conceptual apparent is a karmic imprint is creating the 
creating the, our samsara, uh, you know, this uh, causes of samsara, samsara habits is become created strong. So this removes all samsara habituations and creates enlightening qualities. Then when we meditate, so we, you know, your mind is into the nature present. Uh, that time, then we remove all the samsara habituations and the creates, uh, not only that we remove the samsara habituation and we created the enlightening qualities too. So Buddha's quality we creating the, because uh, the, your mind is into nature, even in, not in the nature, but the present, you not follow the thoughts, not created the emotions. So anyway, you connect with the enlightening qualities. That's uh, the, the reason we have to habituate and this enlightening quality. Uh, each word of this prayer brings your mind's awareness and mindfulness into the nature. So that's the uh, fear, you know, when I chant this supplication, Tara. Each of these, you know, words prayers, if you really mind is uh, follow the meaning, the prayer, then this prayer brings your mind, you know, awareness and mindfulness into the nature. So that means like this supplication Tara teaching is guiding for us, a guide. Uh, then also see, Supplication Tara, when you chant this, like you can visualize the Tara and uh, you can feel that through the visualization connecting. And that's also Tara, like, you know, uh, auto level Tara also guided to, to us when we visualize the Tara. So Tara has a measurable compassion and wisdom uh, so we use this prayer, connect with it to the Tara, ultra level Tara, visualizing. So that also helps us, you know, guide into the nature too. But then this main point here is like going more inner level way because we looking into the natural state. That means like we looking our mind is a Tara. So the dependent, you know, we can follow the two different levels. Uh, when we have the gross level emotions, follow the ultra level Tara, visualize, meditate, and uh, realize that the Tara has love, compassion, wisdom, all these qualities. Uh, we look to ourselves, these qualities, not rising in the mind, our mind. So then we strongly supplication as help. So we feel the Taras like, you know, blessing. And uh, that's connect with the ultra level. Then right now here is sharing is the inner level connection Tara. So the, this inner level is like meditating. We looking our mind nature. So mind nature uh, is the inner level Tara. Uh, so you follow this way, your mind, nature, awareness, mindfulness into nature. Then uh, if you can focus this prayer, chanting of these words, you recognize that your mind is Buddha's mind. The nature of mind is not the de delusion mind. Nature is not delusion, but we Leading into the mind, we, you know, when, even we meditate sometimes, we're not into the nature. So we always, the mind is follow the delusions or samsaric beings, the mind is a delusion. The nature is no delusion. So that's the difference. What means Buddha? Buddha mind is free from delusion. Sentient beings, mind is or delusion mind. 
So then which is the truth, which is the right? The nature is no delusion means then Buddha's no delusion that nature is right. That is the truth. Uh, our mind is followed by the delusions that is not truth because no mind nature. It's all temporary obstacle. Uh, we have to go through that, purify that, you know, and using this uh, uh, supplication Tara's practice. Then what is the Buddha's mind? No conceptual mind is Buddha's mind. They are no thoughts. There is no delusion. Buddha's mind means free from conceptual thoughts, free from dualistic thoughts. It's, it is no door. When you look into your nature, what is Buddha's mind being you understand? Oh, I have that. It's the nature of mind. So you, you use all this prayer uh, support, helps you recognize this, your nature you can recognize, you know, uh, understanding this nature. So then you say, oh, I have that, that is the nature of mind. Uh, then you know so that that means seeing nature mind, you seeing nature mind. So the seeing is also, and the beginners, seeing is not stable, especially, you know, this uh, follow the Vajrayana teaching is uh, seeing mind is still not stable. The, I'll share with you the, you know, the, the wisdom chapter, the, the Mayamika tradition. The follow is more stable, but it takes longer time to not really sharing the mind nature right away. So it's go through lots processing up to the mind nature. And that follow that direction is a uh, practice is more stable, but very hard to get up the level. Then now we're using this Vajrayana teaching method. So using Vajrayana teaching this method, we can see the natural mind. Then you recognize your mind, but not familiarizing with it through practice. We didn't familiarize it through practice because the habituation is not enough strong. So Vajrayana see teaching connect with the mind nature is like we just get in there, but connection <coughs> is really hard. And uh, even your connection, habituation is not strong. That's why we can, you know, still lost there. Then what we have to do, we have to practice familiarizing again through the practice. Otherwise, uh, even seeing, but you can lost uh, through practice. So many people have this problem. You receive many, Mahamudra teachings. We introduce that your mind is Buddha's mind. You recognize that you have a Buddha nature, but you don't practice. That's why this verse explains seeing natural mind, but not familiarizing with it through. So we see the natural mind, but we don't practice uh, We have meditate and habituate our mind through mindfulness awareness. So in this uh, verses is uh, followed by, see usually this each verse is followed by uh, method and wisdom. So wisdom is seeing natural mind. Yeah, it's hard to see, but some due to our, you know, conduction, we, we have many using different method, we seeing nature, that is wisdom. Then uh, wisdom with a method is method is, uh, see, this is the method here, mindful awareness is a method. 
So this supplication Tara, each verses have uh, wisdom and method going together. And then of course, the ultra level, inner level, also going together, practicing. So that's also like depending our ability. Uh, beginners is a more easy focus with ultra level. But then practitioners are easy focus with inner level. Uh, so also here, when we practice this Mahamudra, we have guide through the, the mind for awareness. Otherwise, we are lost in our some worldly activities without a mind for awareness. So we have to create our wisdom. So using these two method and wisdom together, go together. Uh, we always follow worldly activities. So that's create all the time we some sort of habituate. Every word of this prayer, one by one, God us helping us to recognize. So this each word is helping us guiding, recognizing our natural mind and to connect with the practicing. Oh, whatever I am doing, my whole life has become unwholesome worldly activities. So we, whatever we're doing, you know, practice also some reasons like followed by uh, worldly conceptuals, like kind of, a, you know, want to benefit in this life or benefit in future life, something, you know, we stuck that. The rare practice is like, we have to go through that, you know, no thinking about the benefit in this life no agenda, holding something, and no holding something agenda future life. So we have to go through that grasping, free from that grasping. So that is the hardest one for beginner. And uh, that only the Bodhisattvas has this, uh, you know, uh, free from that conceptual grasping because Bodhisattva is 100% pure Bodhicitta and uh, only agenda is wanted to benefit others. Nothing on holding benefit there. So that's why, see, we join practice, but still some reasons stuck there, you know. So we cannot really still go through that. And uh, this uh, main important, uh, then we have to create bodhicitta, you know, create like, so go back to practice love, compassion, bodhicitta, that section is very important. Otherwise, uh, whatever we're doing practice, uh, still we're holding our own agenda, something there, benefits, conceptual thoughts. So sometimes we have good motivations but then the motivation is like also chant the prayer or doing something. We, we actually habituate in motivation. Uh, more beginners, we really don't have enough motivation. Like, of course, the same as Bodhisattva, we chant the prayers, we habituate in that motivation, same as Bodhisattvas, creating that our coming imprints, our mind. So, same time, then we uh, use that prayer chanting and uh, create, uh, you know, love, compassion practices to uh, try to bring in our mind. So then that comes more strongly in the mind. Then in this life, future life agenda has become less. So then wisdom is arising, you know, because wisdom cause is, uh, see, they need bodhicitta too. Bodhicitta cause need wisdom too. So we have to create this both together. Otherwise, we, we're missing one and uh, we 
not possible to realize it. So we main important is like create bodhicitta, you know, uh, then uh, that helps realizing the wisdom. Uh, then free from all this uh, samsarics, you know, uh, habit you and the samsaric agenda, samsaric benefit, they all mind is free from that. So until that we are still stuck there. But the depending also, you know, beginners need something, but practitioners, they have to give up that too. So go up to levels, like something, something we using method in the first beginning step, but go upper levels. So you have to get rid of that, go through that, not stuck with that. Even positive things also we can attach to the, that too. Mm. So when we chant this, then uh, recognize problem and whatever we're doing, what is the, that's the reason, uh, supplicate mother Tara of perfect mindfulness. Then we have this difficult, hard to go through that level. Then that's why we have to supplicate to Tara someone already go through this and who has realized already like true true the natural means who has bodhicitta who has wisdom so that being we calling us to help so we ourselves we recognize we got cannot go through that someone need to help us if someone doesn't help, so like we still have, uh, you know, this all mundane conceptual thoughts. And uh, we anyway going to stuck somewhere there too. So that's why we calling the Tara, us to help. So this calling Tara to us have also with this follow the depending levels, auto level, inner level. Auto level is a, uh, easy for the you know beginner using you know levels uh, the harder because we have to practice meditate and then recognizing the nature so auto level is as long as you have devotions and then we have this all source like images like connect with that practicing meditation like uh, using image you know uh, the connect with our devotion so can fear, you can fear, you can get blessings from that. And then that blessing means like you really wanted to practice it. So keep going. Uh, many different kinds of blessing you, we can get different ways. So all different other beings also kindness, we can receiving that too. So that's also a blessing. And uh, then the sometimes like we harder time, hardest like difficult time. So then we visualize the guru and the calling again, connect with that. And so many methods that we have to use. So if you do not have mindfulness, then your mind is following the emotions. So we, if we don't have a mind for mind is followed by emotions, then that's why we supplicate to mindfulness. So this truth, Tara, is mindful. When mindful arise our mind, so that is absolute truth, Tara. The embodiment of Tara, this ultra level supplication to Tara. Uh, oh, we supplicate, supplicate to mindfulness and the embodiment of Tara. So mindfulness embodiment of Tara. So Tara, visualizing Tara is uh, the form body is actually mindful embodiment form, mindful embodiment form body. See, Chinreza is a compassion form body. 
same like this, this Tara is effort to mindful form body of Tara. So this you understand, then you really know what means Yadam Deity there. Yadam Deity means compassion, embodiment of compassion, embodiment of wisdom, embodiment of bodhicitta, embodiment of mindful awareness, and all these connections there. So that's uh, like, see different aspects where this Buddha is apple to us. So some of these levels, see, we, we don't have mind for, that's the, why we stuck samsara. We need mind for, Tara is apple to mind for, mind for embodiment, helping us. Mm. This is the auto level supplication to Tara. We created the habit, habit of mindfulness. So then we ask help to Tara, calling mindful embodiment Tara. So blessing is we have to habituate mindfulness again, practicing. When mindfulness arises, so then mindful become uh, arise out of your mind, and uh, that means like you have enough habit to add. So whatever you do, like you have mindful, that mindfulness is arise your your uh, arise from your heart. Then that is the tara. As long as you have a mindfulness, then you already have protection. So the mindfulness is our protection become. So we have lots of different kind of obscuration. It's where is this obscuration is come from rising because no mindful. No mindful, then we have obscurations. Long as you have mindful, then free from obstacles. That's why mindfulness is protect us, protection. Without mindfulness, your mind is controlled by emotions, and then 100,000 Buddha cannot protect you, so protect us. Uh, if without mindful, without this practicing, then you have 1,000 statues at your home. Your mind is full of the emotions, still, then these statues cannot protect you. Your compassion can protect you. See, the, then who can protect you? Your mindfulness can protect you. Your compassion can protect you. Your wisdom can protect you. As long as you have mindfulness, you are free from fear. And that can protect you. As long as you have mindfulness, you are free from fears and they can put your supplication to Tara means that you have to create your own mindfulness. Your own mindfulness is absolute truth, Tara. That is the absolute protections. Make sense or no? <laughs> okay, so have any questions? No, yeah. Uh, Kenpo, I have a sort of question. <laughs> um, for the uh, cultivate bodhicitta, you say that uh, um, the our regular uh, beginners practice um, always stuck in the you know benefit for this life or next life, right? And then, and the real practice should not uh, stuck in that. And the, there's no grasping, ideally. Can you so, say? Is that my understanding correct? <laughs> I, that's my note. <laughs> or oh, I'm missing something? Can you say again? I didn't get this all the last part. Okay. Uh, the, the, you said the beginning of 
our reg, you know, uh, most you know uh, practice that we are doing now is still stuck in the benefits for either this life or for next life. So there's a grasping, yes. right? Yes. Yes. And, the, and for real practice, so uh, our goal is that um, we should not stuck in this kind of a benefit. Um, there, are, there should be no grasping on those kind of benefit. So, uh, and we should cultivate bodhicitta and wisdom as well, right? So the um, my understand that the, the when we cultivate bodhicitta, well, at, at least at the beginning level, um, the bodhicitta always also have grasping, right? So we want to benefit uh, sentient beings and also want to attain Buddhahood. That's kind of grasping or? Um, that's an uh, that's, uh, interdote to the other grasping. Okay, so that uh, that is our, you know, antidote. So it's kind of our weapon to... <laughs> Okay, so we, we should starting with start from that stage, right? So eventually, I understand that the high level of bodhicitta probably have no grasping at all. So it's like something mm. like that. It yes. might correct. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Lily. Thank you so much. Okay. So now then we're going to cultivate and meditate the what we talked Uncle, may i ask you a question when you say that in the nature's mind but not familiar with flu practice and you when you say about flu practice is it means uh mainly it's mindfulness so if you are mindful you will really see the nature of mind and familiar with it is that is that true? Through which you mean through practice means mindful practice, you mean? Yeah, because you are you know the verses, uh, the word text you say that not from uh, seeing the nature of mind, but not familiar with it because not because of not familiar with it for without practice. So that practice mainly is mindfulness practice, isn't it? Or no? Yeah, the using mindful and then you have to practice this uh, and the what right now we're talking about uh, you know the wisdom part is but like wisdom, it's not to mind, natural mind, looking to our mind nature. So, meditating, but, meditating. Okay, meditating, using the mindfulness to meditate, isn't it? Yes, yes exactly, yes. So the is uh, the mindfulness can can help you to attain the wisdom or to see and really open the wisdom? Uh, there's so many conditions, the causes the conditions, not only rely on one. So oh. it's, that is the main important one is like just mindful because of the, if without the mindful, then other whatever, other practice also we still you know, bring together. Yes. Long as you have mindfulness, then that helps you other source of condition what we need arising the you know natural wisdom. So that is mindful bring that for us. Okay. Mm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Kempo, when you talk about most people reach can like not most people people can reach the top level of shamatha and they think they've done mahamudra but they haven't so can you explain what the difference would be or is that something you just have to experience yeah i can't explain so it can, i also did a little bit there when i shared the teaching see mm -hmm. The last shamatha is like you don't really looking into natural mind. Just your mind is present there. Right. Be there, but uh, then you're not really seeing the, your nature and the, not looking into that. That's why we call vipassana means like when your mind is be there present, the awareness have to watch that, look to that. So you have to see means like 
feeling like something my nature you seeing this uh, shamatha didn't looking that seeing that kind of looking our own looking at ourselves our our own mind yeah so that is the then vipassana that's not mahamudra though that's the can be mahamudra yes yeah noticing our noticing like noticing kind of noticing but it's it's like then it's cannot say like yes no or other than that it's hard mm okay mm. thank you tempo and uh, so just follow that question so that means um when uh people attend the uh vipassana reach the vipassana state then um they uh kind of reach the emptiness so uh, see the emptiness something like that wisdom emptiness wisdom or what they call um but uh, they they can um they can we they can reach that without bodhicitta uh, developed right that that will be like a aha something like uh, some like mm. that so like aha uh -huh, they 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 can realize the emptiness reach the vipassana or vipassana uh aha uh -huh. so didn't have realized the 100% emptiness they they have some certain emptiness realized but not the whole phenomena realized emptiness okay but but they reach sort of uh, part of it part of it yeah so the we talk about like see the uh selflessness of a person selflessness of phenomena mm. selflessness of a person realize the ahara has but they didn't have selflessness of phenomena so this shanti deva teaching which from chapter is uh, go to the both you know selflessness of person and selflessness of phenomena and then this is going to debating more in the ahats and the shanti deva and the, again you know on the the way of bodhisattva about that then okay. you where is the ahats level you know okay i ask this because i um the the three paths is um the uh, the second before you reach the um emptiness state you should cultivate bodhicitta first right that's the kind of condition a cause condition for the uh, yes. entire so um some people they kind of uh, um, you know pass skip the bodhicitta stage and reach sort of emptiness uh stage and that will as you said will not be complete right it's not a um fully realization depending individual level you know some some just uh, go to more the something like uh, go to wisdom then bring the uh, the compassion and the bodhicitta so the causes a see wisdom and the result is compassion bodhicitta mm -hmm. some like bodhicitta compassion bodhicitta cause the result is wisdom so that is like individual different kind of there oh okay so, so it like also your practicing is a uh, uh when you meditate more see this uh, love compassion bodhicitta the result is coming for wisdom mm -hmm. so you meditate wisdom result is coming bodhicitta okay i understand so now and uh, sort of understand that so you when you meditate um, bodhicitta you generate wisdom then when the wisdom generated then that also um a benefit benefit yes. Uh, uh bodhicitta cultivation so that will you will go step by step and then reach higher and higher yes yes okay okay great thank you so much so that's like interdependence each yeah. other yeah. okay yeah okay great thank you you're welcome okay so we go to the 
the cultivating this root takes a little bit. We we don't have much time, so cultivating short term.
The highest level protection mask I have. Oh, N95? N95? N95. Yes. <laughs> good. I have Perfect. a bunch. I, I have a bunch I can give you uh, when you come back to Dayton, Campo. And remember, Campo, they don't protect you from everything. So it's most important to try to keep your distance a little bit. Yes. But get if there's too many people, better to get out of the, that bunch of people you know when i come to dc to here is a plane is a four even one seat no empty Ooh. oh wow <laughs> oh. Mm. Not yeah good. yeah what airline was that no social distance it's same is like just say social distance but then people come into the board in the plane it's like become same as usually just usual yeah. yeah. Well, there, they there have are the, certain uh, airlines. Uh, mask, then after like some reasons, then they take all the mass drain. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, 
Yikes. Well, don't <laughs> don't worry put... too much, Kempo, because I know the the air recirculates constantly in there, but it is yeah. important to to try to stay keep your distance as best possible. Yeah. Uh, in the airplane, it's not possible these things. Yeah. Oh. I opted not to eat anything, but my my flights weren't too long. I don't know how long are yours, but I opted to. You know, I decided not to eat anything in the plane because I didn't want to remove my mask. Yeah, I think that's good. Idea. And even I, then, <laughs> I did that in the airplane. I regret it again. But this good, good hand washing too. Good hand washing. Don't touch your face. The basic principles. That's yes. the. It's really important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, so we get her gatherings uh, come from all over place, but no one gets sick. That's what luckily. Well, so far, you guys aren't <laughs> seven to ten days yet. <laughs> ten days, ten days, ten days, ten days. Don't lose hope. You can still <laughs> get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Okay. All right. Well, I but hope to see you tomorrow, to, but if go not, say to the it's like Go to the city and uh, this Miami beach everywhere. It's like people just everywhere. It's no one care for. Yeah. I know. Yeah. That's, That's why the case count's so high in the U.S. It's unbelievably yeah. high compared to what we've got up here. Yeah, and Florida is one of the worst. Unbelievable. Yeah. One of the worst. 100%. It's like, I, I, I looked at the numbers and I... I couldn't believe it. I just, I was shocked. Just shocked. They, they are not using mass campo down there? You say mass, yes. Oh, okay. But just uh, people going everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, be careful in the airport and it probably is important to keep your mask on there. So you okay. probably yeah. be practicing with us. You just keep your mask on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll we'll yes. keep you. Bye. We'll keep you posted. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.